Hello there everyone, Ben's Brookup is back today with another video of the Lego City official set 60075 excavator and dump truck and also 4434 orange excavator. Didn't gonna be another review because of course I'm now doing this thing called Review Wednesdays. So let's start. Start off small with the um 4434 orange tipper truck. This set came out in, I want to say, around 2010. And I've wanted this set for ages, and I found one, cheaply, um, for about 20 quid. Which is higher than its original selling price. But, it's an old set, and it looks super cool. And I love it. So for the front, so you can see there's uh, two regular grills, and then the 2x4 plate with a sticker on. This is V8. It's also got the warning chevrons, lights, number plate. A nice big bumper as well. We've also got some lights on the top as well. Which is orange fly. Oh, it's a flashing orange lights, yellow lights, and two horns. I do you like that? And the exhausts are nice and fat, as I like them. And also the detail around the frame is it's basic, but it's but it looks nice. Same on the other side. This has three axles, six wheels, so it's quite a decent sized truck. On the back, on the actual flap that opens, you've got chevrons, and underneath there, as you can see, there's brake lights and uh, same number plate. And of course, the tipper does work if you open up the flap, and you can get everything to tip out. Slightly, I'm using fairly big pieces just for showing on my shelves, but that's okay. Inside there is just basic, there's some tiles to help the bricks free flow. That's about it. 77, seven, no, um, no, 4434. <laughs> Tip of chalk. I like it a lot. Right, so now we're on to set 60075, which is the excavator and tipper truck. Also, what you get is this loading conveyor belt as well. So, let, let's start off with that. So then, it's a simple build. Great, great for kids, you know. There's a nice big hopper in the back there. And then... I can take this one out. And when you turn that, it actually has a pretty good play feature, which is good. Now, I would like to talk about this price. Set when it came out was £25. Right now, brand new is worth about 80 And I got this eleven ninety nine. I love eBay. <laughs> I love eBay. Yeah, but the, the design of this is quite nice. There's this great big um, one singular piece here, which is a conveyor belt. But, you know, it, it was needed and it, look, and it looks nice. Also, some nice decorative stickers on the side as well. I'm sure there's one in the back. No. Uh, let's move on to the tip of truck again. This one has a fairly similar design, well, in the way it's the tip of it anyway, but the actual um, side panels are a bit boring, in my opinion. Um, but I do I do like the front, that, that looks so beast. I mean, the way of how it's, um, the way of how it's angled inwards, that's, that is actually really, um, oh, what's the word? Ben, think. Realistic, that's the word. <laughs> of course, on big trucks like these, like whenever they go to quarries and stuff, they they have these angled inwards so that when they hit rocks, it doesn't actually damage the front of the truck. But I do, I, I do. The reason why I picked this set is because I love the lights in the front and the great big grill. 
chevrons. Just it, it just looks so beast, and I like it. It's got a city sticker there. Not much. Cab details, yeah, basic coffee mug, steering wheel, etc. Also got the um the nice flashing lights on top. God, this needs dust. This needs some dusting. It's... And yeah, it's probably another V8 because it's got two big fat pipes. Of course, tipper bed. It's just the same, except with larger sev lar larger chevrons. And tipper bed is the same size, obviously. And of course, I've already demonstrated this. Might as well do it again. Because this does work. And it almost rolled away. Side there again is just a few plates. Nothing much. So now on to the excavator. First thing I want to say <clears throat> is that I like this build. I mean, I, I have loads of mock excavators, but this... I like it is based on the one from the um from from the transport sets I'm trying to think of a number I think it's hmm I can't remember but but it's a, but it's a big green truck with a nice big excavator on the back so this is based off that set with a nice large um boom extension excavating boom it's also got, I've never had these claws before, but they, but it's got nice big claws on. It's not actually grab, to actually grab, grab the material and it does work. Of course, you can operate it with one or two or all. It doesn't matter because it's got elastic band connecting them all. It's got these nice decorative stickers and also grills and stuff. Singular orange light on top and controls inside the cab it's got two nice large exhausts i've I had to make this one brown because because uh since i bought this second hand it didn't have this one so i had to search through pieces and i got one so that's all right it's got some nice knot building techniques and it's not as um studs not on top um with grills and also um let's say electrical box in there some nice chevrons on the back, nicely curved off. I I I don't I don't like that plate there. I don't like that plate. It's also got lights on there as well, on both sides. And again, electrical boxes and stuff, more grills. And of course, this does spin around three sixty degrees. Again, if I put these into the truck, arm cam, and they can very easily get its claws in there and get a decent amount. Oh, that is rubbish. Come on. Nah, but you, but you can you you can easily tell. The playability is there. You know, give Kurt Hill. It might it might piss off a few kids, <clears throat> me, but it does work. It's 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 not terrible. This video was a review on Lego City six double zero seven five and four four thirty four excavator and dumper truck and dumper truck. Both from, well, this one's from 2015, and this one is from 2010-ish. They're both wonderful sets, because they're old, and LEGO don't really make things like these anymore, because LEGO is going bad. It's, it's like a mouldy apple. If you, if you leave it for too long, then splat. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway. Thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, turn on, turn on notifications, comment anything you like, as long as it's not horrible. Um, also go and follow me on Instagram, and go and subscribe to my other channel, Benny's Train Truck Spotting, which will both be in the description below. <clears throat> um, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.
Bye-bye.